Uh, as far as conditions go today, it's starting to feel better, and the weekend will too. Uh, we have temperatures that, that were in the lower 70s for uh, many muggy mornings that we've had so far, not only this week, but since uh, really September began, holding on to summer. We have numbers that are in the low to mid 60s out west, uh, still holding on to mid to upper 60s in the triad, but with the humidity lower under relatively clear skies this morning, it's feeling pretty good. The one flying the ointment early on is the fog, although conditions are starting to improve from that perspective. Uh, visibility at worst at four miles. It's really kind of an, a ring of fog kind of around the area. The frontal boundary is kind of easing through. This is the first of two fronts that'll slide through the area later today. Most of the rain is offshore, excuse me, over the next couple of days, I should say. And then by a Saturday, a stronger, more potent front bringing some more substantial changes will begin to move in uh, for the balance of the weekend. Uh, dry air behind it's going to really start to bring uh, things more into a fall feel to the year. Severe weather threat, marginal at best today. In fact, I'll be surprised if we see anything more than isolated storms developing during the afternoon. Tomorrow, more of a marginal risk that does include the eastern half of the triad. Uh, Davidson, uh, Randolph into uh, Rockingham, Guilford, and Alamance and Caswell counties. I could see a few strong to severe thunderstorms developing later in the day. Here's the hour by hour forecast. Uh, the model is rain free. Temperatures are noticeably cooler uh, by midday and even in the afternoon. We've been in the upper 80s to near 90 uh, most days this week. We should be uh, struggling to hit the mid 80s today. Uh, more sunshine than clouds early on. I can't completely dry the forecast out today because the front is so close and that tends to be a rainfall trigger. But I think uh, nothing more than isolated showers and storms develop. As the front approaches, number two anyway, uh, we'll start to see at least some heavier clouds developing and the chance for an overnight shower or storm. And then we are pretty unsettled for uh, Saturday. Uh, hit Miss showers and storms during the day. I think our best storm chances favor late Saturday into Saturday night, but by Sunday we should be uh, well underway in the clearing process. That marginal risk means the isolated severe, maybe one or two strong storms uh, for tomorrow. We're talking about uh, damaging winds and large hail tend to be the uh, the primary threat, but I think a lot of lightning and heavy rain will accompany uh, most storms. 84 today, predominantly sunny day with a few more afternoon clouds, especially in our western counties from Dobson and North Wilkesboro, where the high today will be 82 degrees. Upper 70s for the mountains. Uh, any showers or storms could develop uh, as early as the afternoon. You just won't see a lot of that. A uh, high rain chances, lower temperatures tomorrow on a breezy weekend. Look at the weather though for early next week and Sunday. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s, lows in the 50s. It's going to feel awesomely like fall coming uh, coming to a backyard near you.